we watched a show called Beauty and the Geek, and now we're watching episode two. It's a fun show from 2005 where they brought a bunch of babes, aka beauties, and put them together with a bunch of nerds, aka geeks. Probably insensitive, probably reinforces a lot of stereotypes, probably makes fun of some neurodivergent autistic people. But we're gonna watch it because that's what I do. Hey guys, why don't you subscribe to the channel? I never ask, but you should probably do it now because about 65% of you guys aren't subscribed, which is crazy. And you probably don't even realize, or you're old and don't even know what subscribing is. It's free and you just press subscribe. And that lets you know when I got new videos. Let's jump in, huh? What no one expected, one of the beauties would fall for a geek. He's not the typical guy that I- No one saw this one coming. You believe it? Someone want to fuck this loser? Oh my God. In the elimination room, each team's new knowledge was put to the test. What musical act had a dance hit with the song Hey Ya? And Joe didn't let Usher. Erica down. <laughs> with okay. full confidence, I said That's Usher. correct. What musical act had a dance hit with the song Hey Ya? Oh, easy Usher, baby. Usher, baby. He doesn't know it. Don't do it. Outcast is what I meant. I meant Outcast. I fucked that up. I love Outcast. That's my bad. Shit. You win. Sending Cheryl and Eric home. Now only six teams remain. Sean and Scarlett, Richard and Mindy, Erica and Joe, Brad and Crystal, Chuck and Kydalyn, and Lauren and Bill. Was that just me? Was that just me that caught that? That the announcer just said Caitlyn as Kyatlin? That was a gunner mess up right there. Chuck and Kydalyn. Wait, there's an I in there? What the fuck? It is Kydalyn? Oh man, I thought I caught him. It is Kydalyn. That's just her name. All right, my bad. Beauty and the Geek, episode two. Executive producer, Ashton Kutcher. I missed that episode one. After the elimination round was over, I felt like we had really kind of proved ourselves as a team because we're really good at working together and we have a really good relationship. <laughs> it did cross my mind that, you know, it could have been Erica leaving rather than Cheryl and she would have been gone. Wait, wait, wait. All right, so we got to remember this relationship right now. We got Brad and Erica, They're the ones that cuddled the other night, that the producers can't fathom is actually a relationship. Hey, so Cheryl and Eric are gone? No, like they, they're, they're not, not here. here. We didn't no. even get to say bye. No, we didn't get to say bye. Like to they're them. gone. Cheryl told me to tell you guys that she loves you and she'll miss you, and that's it. Oh, it's just such a weird feeling. Like we we just kind of figured we would all just be together for the whole ride here, and all of a sudden it's just like somebody's gonna leave. The stakes are so high. As a team, Richard and I are lethal. We've won both challenges. Like I like, like how they still keep the same titles they gave in the first episode. I thought these might have changed as we keep going, but Joe has still never been on a date. Mindy is still just sorority girl. Just sorority girl. So I think that people are definitely going to see us as a target. We're definitely going to have to stay on top of our game to be able to stay in here. I'm glad I'm still here. It was just nice to see Brad again. <laughs> This romance is developing. <laughs> no, it's not. God, their chemistry is unmatched. <laughs> Little did I know that I would come to this house and it would be. Yeah, also, Doctor? Is Doctor a card game? I've never heard of that. Or were they just talking about role playing? Pretty kinky. All these nerds, and I would happen to like one of these nerds. How you doing? I never thought I would fall for a nerd. It's only day two. This guy is con is like the conventionally good looking, not nerdy enough. Yeah, that was the one guy we we called it out in the very beginning when he pulled up. We're like, that guy is good looking. <laughs> But he's clearly more Chad-like in the jaw region. Fake nerd. Get that fake nerd out of here. If I was that guy, Brad, and I was in 2005 and I wanted to be on a reality show and talk to cute women, this might be the move. Just pretend to be a really nerdy person. And suddenly I'm the coolest guy in a house with beautiful babes. By comparison, you just be the Chad of the house. You just have to be not weird. If I hear one more thing about Dukes of Hazard and like comic books and like karate and like all this kind of stuff, like I just want to talk about Karate's the cool. Things. The women are all gorgeous, but I didn't realize how much effort goes into the morning rituals. The sort of curling and the different creams that are required. I mean, they talk about their clothes and their shoes and their purses. I mean, it's enough to drive you crazy. I got my first sunburn when I was eight and I was so excited. 
I guess maybe that's why I'm so bored all the time. Is people want to relate their meaningless crap. <laughs> Feel that? Makeup's lame. You're making me dumber by telling me this stuff. He's not faking anymore. He actually just might not care about people. <laughs> So we came downstairs this morning, and Brian presented us the new challenge. All right, Brian. Good morning. Good morning. Well, I suggest you become familiar with the materials I'm about to show you right here, because they could be the key to keeping you here in the game. I'm nervous. It's just a dildo mold of Brian's dick. I really can't even fathom what we're going to have to do next. And I can't even fathom that your name is Kayatalin still. Now, even though you and your teammate will be competing in separate challenges, you both will be working on finely tuned machines. Ladies. What could it be? I saw books on the left. A chainsaw? Yeah, it's a good one. Let's go with that. Chainsaw. Show me chainsaw. You know what that is? What is this? It's a carjack thing. It's a carjack thing. Oh, just like it's Mindy a carjack thing. I saw the carjack and I saw Bill's eyes light up. He knows everything from a to Z about cars, and he's the president of the Dukes of Hazzard fan club. So I knew that we honestly were definitely. What if he's just the president of the Dukes of Hazzard's fan club, but he's never worked on an automobile in his life? Like he's got no physical skills with cars? <laughs> You're going to learn the ins and outs of an automobile, ladies. Your materials will teach you how to tune up a car and check your oil. But I'm like, great. We're gonna have to really work on this today. I've never changed a tire before. I have three brothers, they all did it for me. <laughs> Guys, you're also gonna be working with oil. Massage oil, I'm gonna call it. He's gonna bring out a bottle of massage oil. Lube. Massage oil. Nice. <laughs> ah, the jokes write themselves, I love it. Oh, he, god damn, Richard. A little too excited there. Joe's not feeling it. Joe's not feeling it. You're gonna have to learn the proper technique to keep a lady relaxed and stress-free, all right? When I heard I was gonna be doing massage, I thought, well, that's it. I've had a great time at the mansion. See y'all later. I'm not a very, like, touchy-feely person. I don't really know how to, like, physically put a move uh, on a girl or anything like that. I kind of freeze up and feel very awkward in those situations. And here are some more materials. Books, massage oil, you have the rest of the day to prepare, okay? Good luck, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Just that guy's like, definitely gonna go light. jack off. Oh my gosh, he's actually gonna have to touch a woman. <laughs> like, he's never done that before. So wait, yeah, sorry, I wasn't really thinking about this. So what's the challenge? Are they gonna have to massage their girl partners? That's a little strange. The only thing I'm concerned about is there's really a lot to learn about a car. To study, understand, and follow all instructions, but it doesn't have any instructions on it. Are they just showing them how to lift it now? They're not even by the car. And are they gonna change a tire, or are they just gonna crank up a car for no reason? Oh, I needed a massage all day. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna get the most terrible massage of all time. Joe's so uncomfortable with touching girls. When he was like trying to give me a massage today. It's even about them being nerds. The girls, it's not even about them being beautiful. It's just like, nah, you don't know cars. You guys are bad at driving those, I think. Yeah, you are you don't know cars. We're reinforcing every stereotype in the book here, which by the way, you don't read those either. <laughs> that'd be like fast, that be like faster? I'm like, Joe, this is relaxing. This is not like stimulating, like wake up, wake up massage. So it's like this? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Am I doing it in the right spot? Mm -hmm. Is it like, I hold my hands like this, oh, yeah. so this, and then it's just the other side. It's no, not like the middle. No, that's tickling. Slower or like faster? Which one am I doing now? I don't like massages. This is I've never gotten a massage in my life, and I don't think I ever will, because I just think it's awkward. I'm just like Joe, for real. I think it's awkward. Pretty much like my passion and my first love, because I'm like girls, they don't talk back. <laughs> what do you know? Hold because up. Cars are pretty much like my passion and my first love, because I'm like girls, they don't talk back. <laughs> Oh, buddy, I hear you. I hear you, buddy. <laughs> yeah, same thing with Super Smash Bros. You know, I, I get you. Doesn't fucking talk back to me. Doesn't fucking nag. Doesn't say, oh, you're not you're not doing work. <laughs> I'm with you, Bill. Do you know where your oil fill plug is and your oil dipstick is? No. Okay. And you know what that is, right? No. Floor jack. I can do approximately three things when it comes to cars. I can pull the dipstick out and I can check for oil. I can fill air in tires and 
I can put in antifreeze. And that's pretty much where I tap out. I've never changed a tire. I'm scared for the day it pops and I don't know where to go or what to do. And I don't want to have to call AAA. I'm scared. But there was one time that I did a real estate tour for a girl. And after the tour, she asked me, she said, Gunner, do you not put air in tires? Because like my tires aren't filled. And I'm like, boy, do I ever. That's one of the three things I know how to do. We went to the gas station together and I filled up her tires for her. There is something underlying there, you know, stereotypically where I'm like, yeah, I kind of feel like a guy right now. I feel like a man. I just did a car thing for a girl. Felt good. Felt real good. And then we had sex. No, we didn't. Oh. You know, I definitely could have. Okay, I want you to start off and give me a back massage. Air in her tires. Please tell me that's not what you think your a back massage is. Can we not start a sexism <laughs> counter for me. That's not fun. I like when we do the counter for the my show, shoulders. Not me. Rob my back. Oh my god. 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 I've never given him. He's a massage trying. Before. Get on the floor. Not only have I not sensually touched a woman, I've never not sensually touched a woman. <laughs> Step straight. This is a back. Ah, <laughs> this Ow, is that a hurts. This is a back massage. I'm not. I'm not You're I'm killing not him. <laughs> Relax. Ah. That hurts. I'm gonna cry. I. He's gonna love cry. Giving people massages, and ever I've never had someone tell me that I'm not good at it. And you're just taking like you just kind of, see how I'm like kind of like grabbing. Yeah, you're, you're and grabbing. And I'm not pinching. Are you, are you fanning or kneading or jostling? Gotta clarify between panning, kneading, and jostling. <laughs> so he knows the differentiation between that. You can learn how to massage overnight. All right, have a seat. I am your masseuse. Boy, they picked the thing that I could not be more inept at. Inept, what To decide, that inept means <laughs> my shoulders. I don't know what you did. Well, I... Well, I guess I thought they were a little bit bigger. Well, they're not. Ah. I'm oh, sorry. The sneak diss, Mindy. Damn. Coming at Richard like that. Wow. Kind of flirty, though. A little low-key flirty. I would love to help Richard, but I'm not a miracle worker. I hope Mindy knows what the hell she's doing with the car jack, because I can't teach her about that either. She can't teach me shit, so I'm not going to teach her about that, because she's definitely going to be stupid. If you had to learn how to massage somebody for $250,000, you get it done. You figure it out. Welcome to today's challenge. Ladies, you will be competing first today. My fantasy has come alive. All right, wait, we got creep counter All alert? The My fantasy has come alive. All the girls were dressed in Daisy Duke shorts. I mean, he's doing it in the green room, at least, or behind the camera. I try to imagine if you just took the words itself and you said it in a, I don't know, in a better way. <laughs> If I said that, ah, oh, my perfect day, all the girls in short shorts. Like, you might not know if I'm being serious or not, you know? Like, so maybe he's trying to be a little facetious, but we, but you can't do it correctly. I don't know. I'm trying to help. I don't know. All right, fine. Fuck it. Add it to the board. Okay, add it to the creep counter. All the girls were dressed in Daisy Duke shorts. My fantasy has come al My fantasy is. My fantasy has come alive. All the girls in Daisy Duke shorts. No, it's kind of impossible to say that without a little creepy intention. All right. Yeah, no, you got me. No, you got no, you got me on that one. All right. Look over your shoulder. See those cars over there? I see these like six cars, like all in a row. And then I started getting really nervous. I hope you studied your materials because you're gonna be servicing one of those cars. And then you're gonna, you're gonna be servicing check too. Pop the hood. Check the oil. Replace the air filter, close the hood, change the tire. You're talking crazy. And if you're the first woman to reach into the car and honk the horn, you win the opportunity. To well, they're good at that. Obviously, they're good at that. All sorority girls know how to do is honk their fucking Jeep Wrangler horns. Go! Why do girls have to be dressed like that? It's definitely just for the show. All the guys just like, wherever the fuck you guys want to the challenge today, don't give a fuck. We got Daisy Duke shorts and twisted tops for girls for some reason. It should be right in the middle. All right, get the stick up. Scarlett already has the early lead. You're doing good. Get it back in. We got to get the air filter in there. I'm not convinced he's not just looking at her ass. Last challenge winner, Mindy, is having a hard time getting the hood open, and it looks like Richard's not being much help. Ah! Ah! 
the first thing. Keep working at it then. And I was just standing by like a schmuck because I didn't know what else to do. <laughs> For everybody in chat, because this is one of the other things I know about cars, you can open hoods by a little lever underneath of it, or some cars open it from the driver's side on the side, you'll pull a little thing and it opens up. Got you. It took me about 25 minutes to figure out how to open the hood. And I know you're supposed to like pop it, duh. But I just wasn't like thinking. You gotta like Once finger it, do, bring it up, open put it down, and just like, you hey. open it. I was kind of just sitting there like trying to figure out what could possibly be the air filter. Just, just like the clip. You got no idea where it actually is, but you might get lucky and find it. No, this show's making me gross. Dude. We gotta fucking can this. I don't like this anymore. Who am I becoming? What is happening to me? I'm regressing into my frat boy from years ago. I thought I grew. I thought I moved on. What happened? Lauren's pulling ahead. She's already changing her tire. What's that, Fred? Tire. Are you serious? Yeah. You know, everything's going fine. Hood popped, oil checked, no problem. So I'm sitting there trying to take off the hubcap. This it show's just off. too sexual, man. It's impossible. I don't think that comes off. <laughs> Are the guys doing fucking anything? <laughs> Aren't they supposed to know cars? Or like, were they supposed to study before this? No one is saying a goddamn word. I'm convinced the girls are the only ones that study for this. This is a neck and neck race between Lauren, Kaitlyn, and Scarlett. You know what? They're all tired as I can do. All right, now, now lug nut. Lug wrench, lug wrench. I'm not going to so lug my nut at you, dude. Watching how you work what? and listening to the people around us, I could tell we were really starting to pull ahead because she just kept going and going. Up. It looks like Lauren will win this. You got it, you got it. Keep going. Do it faster if you can. Come on, keep going, Scarlett. You got it? And I was like, probably about to start honking the horn. And then I realized I couldn't find my last lug nut. Where is the other bolt? Right here, right here, right here. Do you have to the lug wrench? All right, they're doing more than I've ever done. I can't change the fucking tire for my life. He's going to the horn. She wins. Oh my God, Let's she won go. the challenge. You're the best, Kite. I'm so proud of Kite right now. You're the best. And she was just terrific. I broke a nail and I got my pants dirty and my shoes are dirty. My outfit's dirty. I'm Lauren dirty. and Chad, baby. But it was completely worth it. Oh my God. Right. Yeah, Kaitlyn. I did it. Give me some love here. I'll Congratulations, try. teammate. Right there, you can relax now. One more challenge remaining. Hey, Go hold on. Home. How did you come in? Mate. I did it. Give me some love okay, here. Okay, all right. <laughs> I thought it would be so funny if the host came in, like gave her a hug. And he's like, oh yeah, what's up, by the way? Good job to the other guy. He did high fives for both. Chuck and I are safe because we won the challenge. And the most important thing is you get to send one team to the elimination room. Yep. Take a deep breath. There you go. I'll see you guys later. Thank you. Right, You're welcome. All in a day's work. Don't got to say thank you. Take a deep breath. Good. Good job. Chuck and I might be able to sweep the competition today. I guess I'm feeling a little bit disappointed, but at the same time, this was the first time I actually changed a tire by myself from start to finish. So that was definitely a good thing. I definitely feel like I'm disappointed, Bill. Since Bill knows so much more about cars, I felt kind of obligated to win this challenge. But I definitely learned a lot. And like cars, I something you're always going to have to use in your life. So like changing your oil, learning how to change a flat tire is important to me, so I was happy. You hit the word count on that essay, good job. I learned about cars, so now I can use cars in the future and I can work on cars because I worked on cars here. Good job. There's no bird in my room, stop it. Guys, when I gave you your study materials, I told you that you'd be working on a fine Now the real machine. challenge, the well, weirder the one. Well, machine is the female body. So girls, you gotta fucking change a tire. You gotta mess around with a hood, change an air filter, do all this car shit. Guys, you gotta give a fucking massage. Oh, it's so hard. Oh my God. Oh, it's like you're gonna have such a difficult time. Oh my God. Oh, that sucks for you guys. Oh, that's terrible. The girls worked very, very hard this morning on the cars and you're going to relieve their tension by giving them a massage. I don't like this host, man. He's still weird. <laughs> as soon as Brian told us that we were gonna be getting massaged, I was so shocked. Instantly, I started to panic because I started thinking, there is no way I can lay here and relax in my bikini with these guys and their greasy hands running up and down my spine. Somebody said it. Hey, good job. Somebody said it. Somebody had the fucking cojones to just say that to the fucking camera. She's like, oh, this is pretty weird. I don't trust these dudes. No, I'm not comfortable with this. No, I didn't think I signed up for this. Ladies, go on upstairs and get changed. I was starting to get nervous for Joe, and I knew that he was probably getting nervous too. On a scale of one to 10, my confidence level going into the massage is probably about five <laughs> or a four. I downloaded 
Streamlabs again, so this wouldn't happen. Why is this still happening? I don't understand why it's still happening. If anyone knows what I should do, please let me know. I'm 60, 100 years old, near my deathbed. Please tell me how to do this, because it has crashed every stream for the last month now. All right, ladies, time to disrobe. Lay face down on the massage table. Gentlemen, get ready. Little weird. When the women took off the robes, it's a little strange. My reaction was, "Wow!" Oh, to make not it fair. the physical gulp, dude. Not the actual. It made a noise. The mics picked it up. Nope. We're gonna keep your identities anonymous. The ladies will wear blindfolds and earphones. Gentlemen, go to your first massage destination. There's just something so strange about a massage being a game, like a relay race massage a destination is a weird term too. Like pretty strange. Get yourselves ready? Go. Sexy music. Oh, I like that. Yeah, that's really good. From yeah. that, I guess going I like, to like, I like this. And oh, this is fun. This yeah, reminds me of, I of the time I on got six one with those by a very nice young Asian and woman. And how can you not feel? Oh, those a thrill. were the days, all right. <laughs> oh, so many beautiful women here. I wish I could massage all of them right now. All right. Yeah, is my grandpa racist? He absolutely is. <laughs> <laughs> My grandpa character is absolutely racist and sexist. That is just who he is, you know? You can't change an old dog. Your VH, I feel massage. like this will be you. <laughs> okay, Gentlemen, relax. go to your second massage destination. <laughs> you may begin. Oh, oh God. I was dying. The guy is clearly not listening to me. And not only that, his hands are trembling. So my face is like vibrating in the pillow. Yeah, this is great. That's the counter. Before, I Thank felt you. a lot more awkward touching girls and having them touch me, but now I feel a lot more comfortable doing it. They're all pretty good. I was more than impressed with the guys. You know, they have the ability to do so much and they just underestimate themselves. I've never had my hands on that many women before in my entire life. I'm not gonna get a woman out of this show, but the skills, I'm learning what works and what doesn't work around women. You don't gotta put yourself down like that, Richard. I mean, most of my chat and audience is rooting against you after episode one, but you know, you can still come out of this with a wife, maybe. I think I am better at giving a massage. There's a difference between reading something in a book and then actually doing it. And when you actually have that hands-on contact, you learn a lot more that way. All right, ladies, it's now time to find out which guy gave the best massage. The votes have been counted. Scores have been tallied. And the winner is... Chuck. Chuck, you sly dog. I knew that guy had the best massage hands around town. It was obvious. The way he looked, he was like, you son of a bitch. <laughs> He's like, you sly dog. Congratulations, Chuck. You and your partner are safe from the next elimination. You've each won the opportunity to pick a team and send them to the elimination room. I'll see you guys tomorrow night, and we'll find out who you have chosen. You listen to his fingers. I have no idea who I'm going to pick. Chuck and Kylan, they pretty much have the magic stick right now. You know, they can eliminate whoever they want. Yeah, I could be going home. You know what will be horrible is if it's Joe and me, Crystal and Brad going to the elimination room. If Brad and I are in the elimination room together, then one of us is going home for sure. Come out, come out wherever you are. I don't want to go home. I don't want to leave here. We're in a mansion, you know. Um, the food's getting better. Kaitlyn, congratulations. You guys did, uh, did really very well. Richard is such a cute little guy, but he's running around the house trying to find me, trying to find Chuck, trying to congratulate us for our win. Oh, uh, yeah, but is he though?
Or is he just trying to save his ass? Because right now, I don't know, I'm not trusting Richard so much. I think he's trying to save his own self. He's, yeah, he's sucking up. He knows he's cute. Richard knows he's cute. He knows he can lean into it a little bit. He knows when he can turn up the Andy King vibes. Not that I'm saying Andy King is cute all the time, but he knows what he's doing. It's just really frustrating. So I'll, I will go and personally congratulate Chuck. You have to do what you have to do to ensure that you're not eliminated. I figured the wisest thing for me to do was to kiss Chuck's ass. Okay, there we go. He comes right out and says it. Nice. All right, I like that Richard at least keeps it real behind the camera. I'm going to kiss Chuck's ass. Who are you brown nosing? I saved you. Island. It tokes. <laughs> Richard, it tokes. absolutely out of control I insane tokes. behavior is worrying me because people will definitely want to eliminate us. People who actually know something. I want to form an alliance. Nothing I say or do should be taken seriously. <laughs> What is the play here? All right. People who actually know something about this game, I don't know anything about it. How much do you it. know? So you don't really think um, you know a whole lot? Well, I mean, I enjoy playing, and I'm, I'm pretty good. Um, How you doing? But guys, um, just don't reinforce it. Check. Richard likes attention. He's going to act. You know, this might work, though. This whole thing might work, though. If you just be really strange, they're going to be like, oh, we got to keep him around. You want to kick off Richard, the guy that's been following us all over the house with a weird sign and army crawling? <laughs> he's like a little brother. As goofy as he possibly can. But I think he's still a sweetheart. Capturing. Yeah, it's working. It's working. Yeah, there's no there's no um, sucking up to the queen or the bishop. They don't fall for that. So <laughs> it's just... I'm upset that, that that's the behavior that's getting reinforced, that the women will laugh, will pay attention, will give him what he wants. Mm. All right, guys, keep it real, too. I mean, facts. Damn, Chuck might be the MVP right now, actually. Do you really think it should just, Well, it reinforces that kind of behavior. I mean, he could just as easily learn that... <laughs> While he's giving this lesson, you guys catch that? You guys catch Richard just hiding behind the wall? I mean, he could just oh, here as goes. easily... Oh, uh, I'm kind of over top of it. Shit. There he is. There he is. You know, hey, showing off like this really pays off. All right, I, th so let's I think review. he's funny, though. <laughs> but if people keep sort of feeding his desire to be the center of attention when he does things that are outrageous, then, then it's not going to be a good thing for him to be here anymore. I honestly don't know what we're going to do. So, well, why don't you tell me what you're thinking? And... I, I, Put know. those dogs away, though, dude. Or maybe I respect him more for it. Carry on. I'm here for experiences, and I'm here to... Um, you know, try and improve myself a little bit. And that's, that's not a game. I don't think Chuck cares about winning and it's starting to piss me off. So what, are, what, are you, what like, how do you see the situation with like Scarlett and Sean? Like, uh, they're probably the couple that I would least want to see go. I feel like Chuck doesn't really know how to play a game or he doesn't know how to strategize. Now Chuck continues to keep fucking. I love Chuck. From all the game shows I've seen so far from the 2000s, the best way to play it is to be authentic. Your strategy should be no strategy. It usually works. Kind of love it. Thought of any of the guys leaving is really a bummer. I'm concerned with the fact that you don't care about winning. Sorry, I'm really focusing on his feet, but there's something crazy about how he keeps doing this shit where he like puts it up and he goes like this. It's a kind of a power play, actually. It's kind of like his toes are thinking, you know? I'm going to eliminate his ass is what I'm going to do. I'm going to eliminate him and every other nerd in this joint. And then the party will really get started because I just can't even handle it anymore. It's kind of funny because when I came into this, I was just here to have fun and it was exciting and I made some new friends and now it is serious. I'm just okay. going to tell him what we're going to do. And then if he doesn't agree, well, then I'm going to take the electrical cord up there, I'm going to wrap it around his neck, and I'm going to throw him off the balcony. We need a serial killer counter. We need to start a new counter for batshit insane. Put her on FBI watch list. That was an insane line. Oh, my God. I'm going to take the electrical cord up there, I'm going to wrap it around his neck, and I'm going to throw him off the balcony. Bye-bye, Chucky, and bye-bye, whoever else. <laughs> You're threatening Chuck? I want her gone. Go like this. Yes. Arms, stretch him. Yes, sir. Higher. Yes, sir. And now lean back just a tad bit. Yes, sir. Okay, even though I don't love Richard right now, I still have hope for character development. Because this girl seems chill, and she could change him. She can make him better. Although I keep calling every girl Mindy, and I think this is actually Mindy. So I think she's the cool one. Oh, my God. This I'm is not, like a dance Okay, move. now bend over. 
You're not gonna do anything okay. funny, are hey, you? I'm giving you a good natural tuck. Can I just, just, Mindy, can you, can you give me one minute um, by myself here? I'm gonna pray. Oh. Oh my god, I need social interaction right now. No, that's how I feel about Christians too. Get me the fuck out of here, you crazy people. It's not entirely true. I grew up Catholic. We've chosen. We gotta focus on the episode. Erica and Joe. We respect you guys so much. Your intelligence and your beauty. You know those two things that the show is based on? Your intelligence and your beauty? I'm so sorry, but we're sending the two of you. They crying. Cry count? I don't think you can add it. I think it's fake tears. She knows that if they come back from the elimination, they're going to be gunning for her and her guy after. Lest we forget this crazy person, same person that wanted to hang him for not being strategical about who they eliminate. So actually, she definitely is fake crying. No, absolutely fake. Who are you sending to tonight's elimination room? Richard. Yeah. Richard. The thing is that um, I think you're probably my best friend here, Brad. Of, of the experiences that this show has to offer, the majority are geared towards maybe teaching us things that the two of you have already found in life. And, and or so reversal. In the end, I had to pick you two. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm surprised you didn't go for Richard. You're my best friend, so I picked you? That hurts. Man, that hurts. It's all good. It's all good. Brad and Crystal and Erica and Joe. You are headed to tonight's elimination room. All right, that seems fake, man. That seems a little fake. She's like staring out into a void with one lone tear. Ladies, you will be tested on automotive knowledge. And men, your test will be on massage. Say your goodbyes and pack your bags. And I'll oh see God, you tomorrow. I need someone to help me with my final in college. What class? Uh, massage. I guess I feel like the more days that passed, like I got to have kind of a better one-on-one -on -one relationship with all the different girls that are here. And I think if we leave tonight, I'll end up missing them. Oh, those are real tears. Those are real watery eyes. <laughs> Why do you have to be me or Brad? Joe is literally me when I try to comfort anybody. I'm just like, I don't. Good, it's all good, buddy. <laughs> it's okay. That was a tough decision. So, so let me just tell you something. Yeah. You handled it. Professionally, you handled it touchingly and sensitively. Thanks, buddy. And you did a very good job. And, and, and I got to tell you something right now. The way you just said that to me, it's one of the first things you've ever said where I really felt like you were talking to me not to perform and, and not to kiss my butt and not to make me laugh. I felt right now like you just said. He's looking at him like fucking Granada just got invaded. Oh, my God. That's why I want you to to stay here, you know and what I mean? To, to practice, yeah. just being, right. well, I mean, that was, well, that was great. Right. Character development, love it. Oh, beautiful. It would be awesome if it cut to one of these, but or with do. Richard, and he's like, I'm still kissing his ass, I lie to him. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. Is this just me and Andy? <laughs> I love Andy. Last time someone said it, I'm like, that's so mean, you take that back, and now I'm like, this is Andy. <laughs> <laughs> Rich, trying to teach Rich that if nothing you ever do can be taken seriously, then no one ever will take you seriously. And I try to teach Andy that all the time, and he never listens to me. I say, Andy, you gotta be a little serious or people aren't gonna respect you. That's why people, when we're outside, will just tie your shoelaces together. They throw pies in your face. I'm trying to tell Andy, I'm like, dude, they're not gonna respect you if you keep acting like this little goofball goofster. And that's how Andy grew a spine. It was because of me. Me, Gunner, the guy who gets bullied by his chat every Tuesday and Thursday. I taught him. What's up? It was really hard to say goodbye to Brad because... Oh, shit. Forgot about the blooming other. romance. You never know. And I hope this isn't the last time. Is she touching him right now? Camera guy, don't pan down. You been studying? No, I'm crying. Well, I haven't been studying either. <laughs> but I haven't been crying. <laughs> Don't lie. <laughs> You're right. I had a breakdown. <laughs> You're right. I totally made that shit up. Spared no tears for you. Brad's not the kind of guy that I would normally date. I mean, just because I realized from being here, like, that I am kind of shallow and that I just go for guys, like, if they're, like, really hot and they always end up being. 
And now it's like I met someone. Classic. So classic. Oh, I've heard it so many times. I'm the asshole, by the way. That's me. She's talking about me. He's just the kind of guy that you could just trust and who would just make you laugh all the time. No. Okay, well now I kind of want to keep seeing this relationship. I'm hoping he stays on. Also, his best friend is Chuck. I'm hoping this guy stays on now. We, we got to see where this goes. Welcome to the elimination room. The outcome of this final round will decide who still has a chance at the $250,000 and who is headed back home. So let me get this straight. There are going to be questions quizzing them on massage. Is massage even so in depth that there would be trivia questions for it? I'm gonna give you guys each three questions. You can see they're numbered right here, one through six, three apiece. The team that answers the most questions wins and gets to stay a little while longer. First, gentlemen, please wait across the hall in the viewing room. You may go Girls now. Girls turn first for car questions. Erica, you will go first because your team was selected first. So pick a number between one through six. Three. Good. And your question is, is, what gauge on the dashboard tells you the number of miles you have driven? The speedometer. I don't think that's right. Speedometer would be speed. The mileage. But the mileage isn't really the odometer. Shit. Crystal knew that. <laughs> she just asked me that. The odometer. That is correct. The mileometer? <laughs> the odometer. That is correct. Good job. Anyone could have got that right. You now lead one nothing. On to Crystal. Number four. Windshield wipers have blades made of what? Rubber. Um, rubber. That is correct. Oh, he scared me for a second. I thought I was incorrect. I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know that. They didn't know that? Uh, is it made of dragon bones? But yeah, I'll take dragon bones for 500. If your car engine has a V8, how many cylinders does it have? If my car has a virtual assistant, oh, V8. How many cylinders? Eight cylinders. Eight. It's a trick question. Yeah, she's doing this. That is correct. Erica now leads two to one. On over to Crystal. Crystal, there are three cards remaining. Uh, number two. What type of nuts did you tighten? I know this one because I made a sexual joke about it earlier. The lug ones, the ones you lug. <laughs> to secure their tire onto the car. She knows that. Yeah, it's easy. Lug nuts? Or D's nuts. Correct. Erica, on to you. Two cards remaining. Six. Erica, identify this auto part. Is that a cock ring? No, what is that? No, that's um, a piston. I'm gonna guess piston. Can I see it closer, please? Spark plug. Absolutely, here. Sure. It's not even a ring. <laughs> She'll think of it. I don't know what cock rings look like. I just took a guess, that is all right? correct. Now the score is three to two. Crystal, you get this, you'll even up the score. Last card. Crystal, what is the word that starts with the letter V that refers to how thick or thin the oil is? B? The letter B? The viscosity? I don't know. The bur the bur Did you say V? I was gonna say viscous. We're talking V. Okay, I heard B, so I said viscosity. But you know what I meant. She doesn't know that. The viscous? Oh, that's not how one more cell. It's viscous or viscosity, but yeah, she, yep, she had it. Viscous or viscosity, that the is viscous? correct. The score is now three, three. Congratulations, ladies. Let's see how well the guys do. Joe, you start. Three. Joe, what is the name of the coarse sponge used to scrub the skin? The coarse sponge used to scrub the skin. Fun, Joe. Wait, the coarse sponge? I don't know that. A douche? I'll take a douche bag. My little blonde bombshell, come on. Oh, a loofah? A loofah. It's a loofah? I've never heard of a pumice. Or I know what a loofah is. I've never heard of a pumice. It's a stone. Oh, it's not a sponge, idiots. You're just saying words that have to do with massages. I need an answer. The coarse sponge used to scrub the skin. What is the name of it? Loofah is a sponge. A massage rag. A massage rag. <laughs> That is incorrect. The answer is loofah. Score remains 3-3. Three, three. Brad? I would like number one, please. Number yeah, one. At least say massage sponge. <laughs> Why would you say rag? Brad, what is the body's largest organ with over 5,000 sensory points? 
my penis. Sorry, I'm making a lot of sex jokes still. Um, wait, actually, is it not my penis? Is it a is it a vagina? <laughs> Skin? Skin's organ? Ah, oh, I'm gonna keep being stupid tonight. Skin is an organ? That I swear, be. if this ill suit fitted man tells me skin, I'm gonna be upset. Skin. That is correct. What the fuck is skin? Skin's an organ? I'm surprised at how many people in chat know that. Yes, it holds everything together. It fucks an organ. Organ definition. In biology, an organ meaning an instrument or tool is a collection of tissues that are structurally form a functional unit specialized to perform a particular function. No, I disagree. No, I disagree, actually. Yeah, sorry, you guys are gonna have to take the L on this one. I disagree. The score now is 4-3. The tide is turning. To it's you. armor. Okay, not an organ. You're just wrong. I don't care what Google says. I don't care what your science teacher tells you. It's all liberal propaganda to make you stupid, all right? It's not real, okay? It's the government wants you to believe it. Sorry, wait, my old man filter. It's the deep state. It's not real, all right? The vaccine's got you all loopy. Skin's on an organ, all right? Sheesh. What is the name of the largest and outermost muscle found in each of the buttocks? Gluteus. I was gonna say first. Gluteus maximus. Gluteus maximus. Good boy. That is correct. Back to an even ball game, guys. Score is now 4-4. Four, four. On to you, Brad. 4-4, four, four, pretty correct. tight. Brad, what is the name of the Japanese body therapy that, when translated, literally means finger pressure? The whooshy finger hold? No, I don't know this one. Acupuncture? Really? Oh, weird. Oh. He doesn't know it. Acupuncture. It was incorrect. Shiatsu. Oh. Okay. Wait, what was it? Acupuncture. It was incorrect. Shiatsu. Shiatsu. Still even 4-4. Four, four. Joe, it's up to you with two cards left. Four. Four. Joe, using a thumb and finger pressure on the reflex points of the feet or hands is often referred to as what? Reflexology. Reflexology. Duh. Reflexology. Thumbing. Edging. It was incorrect. <laughs> Reflexology. Oh my god. <laughs> For some people, edging would be the correct answer. Brad, I hold in my hand the last question. You get this, your team wins. If you miss it, and you force a tiebreaker, I'm proud that I still don't know what gooning means, and I'm not going to look it up. Massage combined with scents of certain types of oils is commonly referred to as what? I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to pause it so whoever gets it first, I'll say good job. Aromatherapy, BG, Tiddy, Emo. Good work. Aromatherapy. Yes. Congratulations, your team wins. Oh my god. I'm very, very sorry, Joe, but you guys are going to be sent home. Joe's gone. Ladies, please come back in. Joe. Now I don't got to feel bad about dead naming and using his male pronouns. I was trying to keep it for continuity's sake, but I felt kind of bad about it the whole time because Joe is apparently Lily now, which is awesome. This was the one very specific scenario where I think it was okay. Congratulations, Brad Crystal. You managed to answer five questions correctly to stay in the house. Erica and Joe, you're gonna have to go home. This is the second time in the elimination room, and this time your team didn't come out. We got on a progressive top. counter. One. We got a progressive counter. Brad and Crystal, you must be so relieved. The other teams are wondering who's gonna be coming up those stairs. So why don't you go ahead and go up there, relax, get comfortable, and enjoy your win tonight. All right. Joe is my buddy, and I hope that when he sees a girl walk by who's perfectly manicured and her hair's done perfect and she's dressed all cute, I hope he doesn't think, wow, she's really pretty, I can't talk to her. You know, I hope that he'll realize what a great guy he is. I think working with Erica, she was more modest about her intelligence beforehand, and then after I started working with her, I, I, you know, I think she'll be a little bit more confident in the future because she's a smart girl. I thought she was going to say she'll be more confident. She won't be smart, but she'll be more confident. I just realized, like, how superficial. This girl went through it. How superficial <laughs> girls that look like us can treat guys who look like some of them are, like, some of the greatest guys I've ever met. And it, it took this um, for me to realize that.
All right, well, that was Beauty and the Geek episode two. I feel like this show is just showing how stupid I am, but um, you guys seem to enjoy it, so we'll catch some more next time. I think it's a fun, definitely outdated show, but uh, I'm an outdated guy. It's kind of what I like sometimes. I like when people have their roles in society like it should be. Supposedly.